tankless water heaters specifically work on gallons per minute. Um, best thing about them is you size them for your home, you never run out of hot water. Uh, because they work on gallons per minute and you have, say, three bathrooms in the home. If you have three bathrooms and your max gallons per minute for each bathroom is five gallons per minute, then you would have to have more than one with the tankless. But if you were to have two bathrooms with everything running in the home with a kitchen faucet running, you're always going to have hot water. One thing with tankless, a lot of people think on demand means you turn a faucet on, you're immediately gonna have hot water there. Um, unless you have a recirculation pump or a tankless with a recirculation pump, you will not have immediate hot water. Um, the reason they call it on demand, the moment you turn on a faucet and it senses flow through the tankless, it then kicks on and starts heating water. So as long as you don't exceed your gallons per minute, once you have hot water, you will continue to have hot water. You can really have them in just about any home from small to large. The only thing to consider, the larger the home, the more potential capacity you're going to draw. Um, best thing about tankless water heaters, you can use multiple, multiple of them together. So if you had a large home that was going to take 30 gallons per minute, you could potentially do three tankless in a row. So tankless is gonna be on your, your higher end for cost. Your tank type's usually going to be your cheapest option. Your uh, marathon's gonna be a step above in thermal efficiency, but not quite as cheap as your tank type replacement. Your tankless option's going to be up, up there in your most efficient range of water heater, but considerably more money.